Hi students, good morning to all of you. Welcome back to the second session of uh, quantitative analysis. In the last session, we had discussed about uh, uh, acid based titrations. Uh, uh, what is the acidimetry, what is base uh, alkalimetry and uh, theory of indicators, choice of indicators uh, and uh, um, how the colors, how indicators colors are changed in different medias. Uh, the mainly two theories, the Ostwald theory and the uh, um, Quinonite theory uh, regarding acid based indicators uh, and uh, last types of acid based titrations. Uh, I hope you on uh, things are very clear about uh, acid based titrations. Now, in this session, in the session uh, second session, uh, I am going to discuss about a uh, second type of titration that is a uh, redox titrations, redox titrations. So, what is redox redox titrations? Uh, um, here, uh, simultaneously oxidation and reduction takes place. So, that is redox titrations. What is redox titration? Simultaneously oxidation and reduction takes place. So, what is uh, redox uh, and what is oxidation? So, we have to aware of these terms that is oxidation and uh, reduction so first uh, what is oxidation see oxidation oxidation again uh, in oxidation loss of hydrogen a loss of uh, electrons that is uh, exactly opposite of oxidation that is reduction here loss of oxygen um, gain of hydrogen and gain of electrons so simply what is oxidation loss of ox uh, loss of electrons mainly uh, the definition that is loss of electrons uh, so uh, in oxidation redox reaction uh, from reactant to product uh, if any species increasing its oxidation state uh, increasing oxygen states nothing but uh, it's, it is loss of electrons it is uh, losing its electrons that is it undergoes oxidation right and uh, uh, in case of uh, loss of hydrogens so that is also oxidation and uh, adding addition of oxygen or gaining oxidation that is oxygen that is oxidation so and uh, uh, reduction so gain of electrons that is reduction that means uh, in redox reaction uh, from reactant to product uh, if it is uh, decreasing its oxidation state so decreasing its oxidation state from reactant to product uh, means uh, it gaining electrons that species that particular species uh, uh, gains uh, electrons from another species that is a uh, uh, that one undergoes a reduction or gain in hydrogen and loss of oxygen so so what is oxidation so it lose of it loss of uh, electrons it loses electrons uh, and uh, lose of hydrogens uh, or gain in hydrogen or uh, increasing oxidation state from reactant to product is oxidation state increased uh, during the reaction and uh, reduction so gain of electrons, uh, gain in hydrogen, loss of oxygen or uh, decreasing oxygen state uh, uh, during reaction, the during uh, reaction that is redox reaction. So that's about uh, oxidation and uh, reduction. And uh, uh, another two terms uh, you must know that is oxidizing agent and uh, reducing agent. Oxidizing agent and reducing agent. So first definition of uh, an oxidizing agent is a chemical species uh, that causes other reactants in a redox reaction to be oxidized uh, and it always be reduced in the process. That is oxidizing. So uh, agent uh, means reverse. So first, oxidation is loss of electrons, right? So loss of electrons that and that one undergoes uh, oxidation. So oxidizing agent means reverse. So that is gain of electrons. So uh, what is oxidation? Don't don't be confused, uh, students here. Uh, reducing agents reducing agent so uh, is a chemical species that cause the other reactant in a redox reaction to be reduced and it is always uh, oxidizing in the process right so that is reducing agent so oxidizing agent itself uh, undergoes oxidation and it, uh, uh, it itself undergoes a uh, reduction and it oxidizes another species that is oxidizing agent uh, reducing agent itself undergoes oxidation and it reduces uh, another species other species other reactant uh, species in the reaction that is reducing agent so clear so that is oxidizing agent uh, and uh, reducing agent so uh, see the diagram you can understand it easily so uh, reducing agent so reducing agent is a uh, donate electrons so actually reduction is Lo uh, gain of electrons reduction is uh, gain of electrons reducing agent is uh, donating electrons 
so that is a reducing so the species which donates its electrons uh, that is called reducing agent right and the second one the substances that takes electrons in a redox reaction is oxidizing agent so that is oxidizing. so agent means here reverse uh, see this slide oxidation and reduction oxidation is loss of electrons increasing in oxidation state because of loss of loss of electrons uh, its oxidation state is increased and addition of oxygen loss of these are, these are the four definitions are uh, uh, about oxidation and uh, coming to right side reduction so reduction is the gain of electrons uh, so because of the gain of electrons uh, its oxidation state uh, decreases so decrease in oxidation state uh, and the loss of oxygen and the addition of uh, hydrogen see uh, here i'm giving an example that is mg plus o2 gives rise to mgo right so if you observe uh, this reaction mg that is a neutral that is zero oxygen state here mg zero oxygen state uh, and o2 so o2 here also is zero right now mg in the molecular form o2 oxygen state is zero so mg zero so which is converted into the compound that is mgo mgo here oxygen state of magnesium is plus one oxygen state of uh, mg uh, magnesium state of uh, oxygen state of magnesium is uh, plus two and oxygen state of uh, oxygen here minus two so mg zero two uh, mg plus two so here magnesium loses electrons magnesium loses electrons because of mg zero two mg plus two losing two electrons so magnesium losing electrons it undergoes uh, uh, oxidation that is uh, loss of electrons uh, or increasing oxygen state here 0 to plus 2 so increasing its oxidation state uh, so that one undergoes the here magnesium undergoes uh, oxidation now second thing mgo plus uh, h2 here see that mgo plus h2 right side gives rise to mg plus uh, h2 mgo that is mg plus 2 to uh, in the reactant side uh, product side uh, mg 0 so here plus 2 to 0 that means uh, gaining electrons gaining two electrons here notice that uh, mg 2 plus in mg o and it's gaining electrons so here mg undergoes uh, reduction in the first case uh, mg undergoes uh, oxidation because of its uh, because its oxidation state increases that means uh, it was losing its electrons two electrons uh, so the uh, magnesium undergoes uh, oxidation here now here right side mg o plus h2 uh, gives us to mg plus uh, h2o so its oxidation state is uh, uh, decreases that means it was gaining its uh, gain electrons from hydrogen so uh, here magnesium undergoes a uh, reduction right now uh, here i am giving a uh, few reagents that is oxidizing so i am told you now what is oxidizing agent oxidizing agent itself undergoes reduction it oxidizes other species so that is oxidizing agent uh, here a uh, few oxidizing agents i am given so first one, first one potassium permanganate that is kmno4 uh, that uh, particular titration is known as permang permagnometry right and second one ceric sulfate uh, that is cerimetry um, ceric ammonium sulfate you are using as an oxidizing agent and the potassium dichromate uh, k2cr2o7 dichromatry that particular titration you are uh, uh, said to be that uh, dichromatry and iodine that is i2 used as an uh, oxidizing agent uh, iodometry and iodometry i will uh, tell you about all these uh, titrations uh, don't worry about that and potassium iodide kio3 uh, iodometry and uh, potassium bromate kbro3 and bromate uh, bromatometry right so these are few oxidizing, oxidizing agents uh, which are used in redox uh, titrations right and second thing uh, reducing agents uh, reducing agent potassium uh, ammonium iron 2 sulfate uh, hexahydride that is uh, well known as more salt so fe plus 2 oxygen state uh, in, in more salt so it would be converted into uh, ferric that is fe plus 3 during a uh, uh, reaction that is a redox reaction so it is a reducing agent so what is the reducing agent itself undergoes oxidation it reduces uh, other species that is uh, a reducing agent right so here uh, few reducing agents uh, are listed that is uh, second thing iron 2 ethylene diamine sulfate uh, sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate and arsenic trioxide sodium oxalate and oxalic acid dihydrate so all these are uh, um, reducing agents right 
and uh, electrochemical cells uh, what uh, electrochemical cell so there are mainly two types of uh, uh, chemical cells that means um, uh, galvanic cell and uh, electrolytic cell so what is galvanic cell in chemical reaction occurs spontaneously uh, to produce electrical energy so that means chemical energy converted into the electrical energy that is galvanic cells that one is also known as a uh, electrochemical uh, cells right in a uh, electrolytic cells uh, electrical energy is used to force the spontaneous uh, uh, chemical reaction here that uh, reverse here uh, electrical energy converted into the chemical energy in electrolytic cells okay so these are the few terms uh, you may read in a uh, uh, electrochemistry right now i am taking a uh, solution containing i am giving an example here uh, uh, if your solution containing fe2 plus is mixed with another solution containing cerium 4 plus uh, so i am taking two reactants here uh, one is fe2 plus uh, and second one is uh, uh, cerium 4 plus uh, cerium ammonium sulfate and here the most certain i am taking fe2 plus uh, there will be a redox reaction situa uh, situation uh, due to their uh, tendency of transferization so in between these two fe2 plus uh, and cerium 4 plus so these two are species uh, uh, they are in undergo redox reaction because they are uh, loss and uh, gain of that means transfer of electrons between these two spaces spaces um, if you consider if you consider that these two solutions are kept uh, in separate beaker and connected with the salt bridge now you are constructing a cell right uh, connected by a salt bridge and a platinum white that will be uh, that will become a galvanic cell that means here uh, chemical energy will be converted into the um, electrical energy so what i am saying is here i am taking two beakers uh, in one beaker uh, i am keeping more salt another beaker um, i will kept uh, uh, ceric ammonium sulfate that is cesium 4 plus uh, and one beaker i am kept fe2 plus solution now these two solutions are connected with a salt bridge salt bridge uh, now these are connected with a, a voltmeter now uh, re, uh, electrons are transferred between these two uh, solutions uh, through salt bridge now uh, there is ions are transferred uh, between uh, these two solutions uh, through salt bridge uh, and the electrons are transferred between these two species uh, and the electricity is produced that means electrical energy is produced because of chemical energy here chemical energy converted into the electrical energy if you connect voltmeter between these two electrodes the potential difference of two electrodes can be directly measured right the fe2 plus being oxidized at platinum wire right now here uh, which one undergoes oxidation which one undergoes a reduction now here fe2 plus converted into fe3 plus by using electrons so fe2 plus converted into fe3 plus increasing its oxygen state that means it was losing electrons so it is and it was it was undergoes uh, oxidation so fe undergoes uh, oxidation because it's uh, increasing its oxidation to fe2 plus to fe3 plus right and uh, uh, second the electron that's produced uh, will flow through the wire to the other beaker where the ce4 plus is reduced so ce4 plus to ce3 plus so ce4 plus to ce3 plus where oxygen state is uh, decreases that with uh, cerium uh, gains electrons cerium undergoes uh, reduction fe undergoes uh, oxidation oxidation right so fe is here uh, uh, reducing agent cerium is here oxidizing agent right clear now i am um, taking so here two beakers in one uh, in one of the beaker uh, i am having fe 2 plus solution another beaker i am having cerium 4 plus solution now uh, these two beakers are connected with the salt bridge uh, so here uh, electrons are transferred from fe2 plus to fe uh, 4 plus uh, cm4 plus solution that means fe giving its electrons because if it is undergoes oxidation that's why it undergoes oxidation now cm4 plus uh, uh, accept those electrons uh, and that uh, this cm uh, undergoes a uh, reduction right so here electrons are transferred from reducing agent to oxidizing agent. Here Fe is reducing agent and cerium is a oxidizing agent, right? Next uh, um, types of redox indicators. Uh, um, there are three types of uh, redox indicators: uh, self indicators, external indicators, and internal indicator. So self indicator, 
um, what is self indicator the oxidizing agent or reducing agent will behave as a indicator so that means uh, uh, titrate and analyte they are, are having two that means oxidizing agent and reducing agent so one of the reagent so one of the agent act as a indicator so you don't need a uh, external indicator you know need a, you need to add a uh, extra indicator that is self indicator so one of the uh, oxidizing agent or reducing agent uh, acts as a self indicator and next the second one external indicator so indicator is kept separately here okay so to the reaction mixture you are uh, separately adding this external indicator that is uh, solution being titrated by, titrated uh, will be removed uh, uh, every few minutes uh, and tested with the external indicator right so example ferrocyanide uh, i will uh, explain uh, next uh, uh, internal indicator so indicator will be added together with the uh, solutions involved in the titrations so, uh, these internal indicator are also called as redox indicators uh, i will give few uh, indicators uh, and explain uh, in detail see uh, first uh, type of indicator that is a uh, self indicator here no indicator required so in some cases uh, so one of the reactant uh, act as a indicator so that reactant is called uh, self indicator so uh, i'm giving an example here so when the titration solution is colored uh, so one of the, that solution uh, that self indicator that uh, particular reactant uh, should be intense color so then only it was acts as a uh, indicator the self indicator so i'm here i'm taking a um, potassium permanganate KMnO4 uh, here it acts as a self indicator KMnO4 that is white color when it is what titrating with a Fe2 plus or oxalic acid so uh, anyone can take in so uh, here I'm taking Fe2 plus uh, uh, which will be converted into uh, Fe3 plus now Fe2 plus oxidized into Fe3 plus that means uh, Fe2 plus undergoes oxidation here and the potassium permanganate uh, undergoes uh, reduction so a potassium permanganate here oxidizing agent uh, Fe iron is a reducing agent right so here uh, reducing agent Fe uh, to uh, iron and oxidizing agent is a uh, potassium permanganate so here uh, one of the reactant that is uh, potassium permanganate uh, acts as a uh, self indicator because of its intense color KMnO4 acts as a uh, uh, self indicator the disappearance of violet color of KMnO4 is due to its reduction to the colorless Mn2 Mn2 plus so here KMnO4 uh, oxygen state of magnus here it is plus 7 Mn plus 7 uh, and uh, it would be converted into Mn2 plus uh, by uh, gaining its electrons, right? By gaining electrons from uh, Fe, that means iron uh, 2 plus. So it gaining electrons from iron uh, Mn7 plus converted into Mn2 plus. So in Mn, uh, manganese in plus 7 oxygen state, that is violet color, manganese in plus 2 oxidation state, uh, it is uh, colorless. So the end point is uh, violet 2 colorless, right? So when all reducing sample that is Fe2 plus has been oxidized, uh, the first drop of excess of MnO4 colors uh, solution distinct uh, pink color, right? So that's the that's about a self indicator, right? See second uh, external indicator. So in titrate Fe2 plus. Uh, and uh, Cr2O7 potassium trichromate. Sometimes completion of the reaction is indicated by the use of uh, substances outside the reaction mixture. Such substance is called external indicator, right? So, uh, example I'm taking here. Uh, reaction proceeds uh, until all Fe2 plus is converted into the Fe3 plus. So Fe2 plus uh, reacting with ferricyanide. Uh, here ferricyanide uh, acts as an indicator. That is external indicator. It was converted into the ferrous ferro. Uh, ferrous ferry sign it that is blue color right so end point is reached uh, when the drop falls to give you a blue color coloration with the indicator right so less accurate method uh, and maybe lead to the loss or contamination of a uh, sample so this is less accurate method so that's why we are not using this type of uh, uh, redox uh, reaction right the third one uh, internal redox indicator internal redox indicator or redox indicators so redox indicators are compound which are having different colors in oxidized and reduced form here i'm giving so uh, uh, best example is diphenylamine so for this uh, internal redox indicator uh, diphenylamine so it shows uh, different colors in oxidized form and reduced form so the 
color change when oxidation for uh, oxidation potential of the titrated solution reaches definite value here i'm giving a an nst equation e is equal to e naught plus 0 0.591 by n log uh, indicator oxidizing and uh, by oxidizing form my <laughs> reduced form right now here uh, it shows uh, different uh, colors in ox uh, different uh, oxidized form and uh, reduced form See, I am giving here examples of some redox uh, indicators, internal redox indicators. So, uh, diphenylamine sulfonic acid, uh, it shows uh, red violet color in oxidized form and uh, re uh, colorless in reduced form, right? It's uh, altitude potential having 0 0.85 volts, right? And next, uh, diphenylamine, diphen DPA, diphenylamine, uh, oxidized form, in oxidized form, it exhibits violet color, in reduced form, it's colorless. Uh, methylene blue. Oxida in oxidized form it is blue color in reduced form it is colorless uh, indigo tetrasulfonate in oxidized form it is blue uh, in reduced form it is colorless uh, phenosafranine uh, that is in oxidized form red in colorless form um, in reduced form it is colorless so these are the few um, redox indicators you are using in redox uh, titrations now uh, I am giving few uh, titrations here example now um, first one paramagnetometry so here I am using um, oxidizing agent uh, that is potassium permanganate as oxidant so using potassium permanganate uh, it's uh, oxygen state of manganese here uh, 7 as a oxidant oxidant uh, means oxidizing agent reductant means uh, reducing agent so oxidant uh, that is oxidizing agent itself undergoes uh, a reduction and it oxidizes uh, other spaces that is oxidizing agent you must keep this point very uh, very important point here um, um, it acts as a self indicator. So, I told you now, uh, man 7 uh, it is a uh, man potassium permanganate acts as a self indicator. So, here two reactants, uh, so one reactant must act as its self indicator if it is having a intense color, here uh, violet color, uh, potassium permanganate uh, is violet color, intense violet color. So, it acts as a uh, self indicator. So, uh, it can uh, it is not suitable primary standard solution it is not suitable primary standard solution can't be obtained in pure form uh, will you have MnO2 as impurity MnO2 as impurities in presence of MnO2 will catalyze reduction of ma manganese 7 autocatalytic decomposition hence it need to be standardized first with the primary standard so here Mn uh, KmN4 is not a primary standard so its concentration may be varied so that's why you have to standard by primary standard uh, like uh, oxalic acid, sodium oxalate, arsenic, arsenic oxide, and more salts, etc. When uh, if you titrating with uh, uh, more salt, so more salt is primary standard, uh, so that uh, more salt undergoes uh, oxidation and uh, here KMN4 undergoes uh, reduction, right? So here more, uh, more salt is a reducing agent uh, and uh, potassium permanganate is a oxidizing agent, it is oxidant, right? So this is the reaction permanganate and second uh, um, chromatry so that oxidizing agent will be potassium dichromate here K2Cr207 potassium dichromate K2Cr207 it's not uh, as a strong of oxidizing agent as compared to the potassium permanganate uh, uh, but it does not need standardization Okay, so it is a uh, primary standard, so it doesn't need a standardization. So it does not need standards with a primary standard because it is a primary standard, uh, uh, but it is uh, not strong as of uh, oxidizing agent of uh, KMN4, not strong uh, compared to the oxidizing agent uh, that is uh, KMN4. So it can be prepared and uh, used directly. So color changes from orange to green. So redox indicators used for this. Uh, titration is an n phenethylenic acid or a diphenyl amine diphenyl sulfonate right so uh, iodometry and uh, here the two important uh, titrations uh, iodometry and uh, iodometry iodometry and uh, iodometry so first uh, iodometry so iodometry it is a direct titration iodometry solution is directly titrated with the reducing agent so iodine is directly titrated against a reducing agent such as a sodium thiosulfate so i am taking i2 so it would be uh, reacting i2 i am taking in, uh, in conical flux i am taking i2 and uh, indicate a starch uh, 
that is blue color uh, and it is reacting with the sodium thiosulfate uh, it was also popularly known as hypo so because of uh, it was also known as sodium hypo uh, hyposulfate uh, so that's why it is called hypo so uh, it was taken in butyrate now uh, run down butyrate uh, in butyrate you are taking sodium thiosulfate uh, now reacting with sodium thiosulfate with the i2 uh, it would be converted into i2 would converted into iodine right I, uh, iodide that is uh, i2 converted into i minus so i2 that is 0 and uh, convert into i minus that is minus 1 so it's decreasing its oxidation state uh, so decreasing oxygen state uh, that is reduction so that is reduction uh, so it is a uh, oxidizing agent so i2 here is oxidizing agent and s2o3 minus uh, uh, is reducing agent that is a uh, na2 s2o3 so that is a uh, sodium thiosulfate so that is a uh, uh, reducing agent. It is oxidizing agent uh, and it is a reducing agent. So starch is, is used as a uh, indicator here. Now end point is uh, when blue color that appears upon the addition of a uh, starch disappears. That is a blue to um, colorless, right? So that is a uh, idometry and a second type of titration that is a uh, idometry. So that is a redox titration. Idometry it is indirect titration. So titration of the liberated iodine with reducing agent. So iodine is uh, liberated uh, when it is uh, react with a strong oxidizing agent uh, in acidic medium such as uh, acidified uh, potassium permanganate. So first uh, um, we are taking a uh, um, potassium iodide that is uh, Ki I minus. So MnO4 plus 16 H plus here I'm uh, giving a uh, equation I minus uh, which will convert it into the Mn2 plus uh, and I2. So it is uh, uh, converted that means I minus first converted into the uh, I2 right. Now that liberated I2 reacted with the sodium thiosulfate uh, titrating with sodium thiosulfate uh, so that is uh, Idometry. So it is indirect method. So liberated iodine is titrated against to the standard solution of a reducing agent as a sodium thiosulfate, right? So uh, this method is uh, has a wide applicable and it is uh, uh, nowadays it is almost all oxidizing oxidizing reactions. So uh, the indicator used in both these type of uh, titrations intense blue colored uh, starch iodine complex of indefinite uh, composition. Uh, thus, as soon as all uh, free iodine is absorbed, uh, that is no free iodine is present in the reaction mixture, the blue color disappears. So, uh, what are the general instructions uh, taken for this uh, uh, iodometry titrations? Uh, first thing, the iodometry titrations, uh, the evolution of iodine slow process. Therefore, sufficient, sufficient time may be given for the co completion of the reaction completion of the reaction and the second thing uh, fall of uh, direct sunlight uh, on the titration of the may be uh, avoided so it would be avoided sunlight right keep the flask covered with the watch glass uh, uh, right so that's the most important and second uh, addition of a uh, sodium bicarbonate uh, is also recommended in the flask to prevent the oxidation of uh, K by atmospheric uh, oxygen right so these are the few uh, instructions uh, should be taken uh, for these titrations so this is all about uh, redox titrations so uh, redox titration that is uh, oxidation and reduction takes place uh, simultaneously uh, we have to know about oxidation and reduction and oxidizing agent and uh, reducing agent uh, and uh, uh, redox indicators so there are th uh, three types of indicators self indicator external indicator uh, and internal redox indicators examples of indicators potassium permanganate uh, it will be converted into the uh, mn7 into mn2 plus mn2 plus is colorless form colorless right uh, and next uh, uh, external indicator uh, that is uh, potassium ferrocyanide uh, um, so that is example for a uh, external indicator and uh, internal indicators uh, reduction in diphenylamine dpa indicators uh, so i'm giving list of indicators here right uh, this is all about uh, uh, redox indicators uh, i'm giving few reactions uh, regarding this uh, redox indicator so that is a uh, permagnetometry chrom uh, uh, dichrometry and iodometry and uh, iodometry right so i hope uh, things are very clear 
now you have to practice uh, different redox reactions where you have to identify uh, oxidizing agent uh, and uh, reducing agent so very simple just to identify the reaction so just to calculate the oxidation number so oxidation number of that species uh, two species uh, reacting species uh, now uh, increasing its oxygen from left to right uh, um, that is uh, that uh, that one undergoes uh, oxidation that is losing uh, losing its electrons uh, and uh, if it is decreasing ox its oxidation state from uh, reactant to product uh, that was your uh, reducing agent so that is oxidation right um, thank you uh, in the next session we are going to discuss a uh, third type of titration that is a uh, complement titrations thank you